guys welcome back to this channel and if you are new here please subscribe and click the bell notification button to get updated on all our new videos nollywood is overrun with the true back photos so guys the nollywood actors and actresses have shared the true back photos online today so guys let's get right on our list Number one, we have Bimbo Akintola. is a Nigerian actress and she was born on May 5, 1970 to a father from Oyo State and her mother from Edo State. She studied at Maryland Convent Private School in Lagos State. She proceeded to command the schools Lagos. She earned a degree in Theater Heart from University of Ibado. A family of six includes Abimbola as the third child. She began portraying a student alongside her peers for the school's end of the year theater event, encouraged by her mother's encouragement. Her enthusiasm for performing intensified as she participated in more plays, eventually becoming second nature. She was raised in Maryland, Lagos, where she received her elementary education at Maryland Convent Private School and a second school at Commander School, also in Lagos. She completed her undergraduate studies in theater arts at the University of Ibadan. The actress used to perform every weekend with the late Jaye Aboderi at a club called Divine on Allen Avenue in Lagos, where she was still in school. Celebrities that have been born as dated include the actor Yemi Black and the talented musician Dede Mbaraiko. Before they started dating, Bimbo and Dede were friends from two years. However, they later broke up amicably. Bimbo Akintola has never been wed and has never given birth. She claims to have multiple children, all of whom she raises. Some of them grew up and were raised by their own family. At the boat acting was when she featured in the film Owo Blow in 1995 alongside Femi Adebayo and followed up with Outbound in 1997 with Richard Mofe Damijo. She was nominated for Best Actress in a Leading Role at the 2013 Nollywood Movie Awards. Other recognition for excellence include Best Actress or English Actress in Nigeria in 1997. Best Actress Award for the movie Evans L at the 2015 Eco International Film Festival. Also, we have Okweyemi Aye Ola. As we all know, is a Nigerian actress, film producer, and television personality. She has been entertaining since 1998 and is currently one of the biggest actresses in the Nollywood industry. Born on August 29, 1977, Okwayemi Ayola, a leading Nigerian actress, film producer, and television personality. Okwayemi Ayola joined the Nigerian film industry, Nollywood, in 1998 and starred in her first Yoruba film, Asho Iye. A film that gave her an edge in Nollywood and attracted her to film users and viewers in Nigeria. She is very beautiful, gifted, creative, skillful, and talented in acting. An interpretation of movie roles and can fit in any character given to her by movie directors and producers in Nigeria. She is popularly known for acting in Yoruba. Okpayemi Ayola is originally from Shagamu, a small town in Ogun State in the southwestern part of Nigeria. She is the second child in a family of three children. Okpayemi Ayola attended Our Lady of Apostle Private School in Yaba, Lagos State, Nigeria, and obtained her first school living certificate. After completing her primary school education, Okpayemi Ayola proceeded to Remo High School in Yabao, Lagos State, Nigeria, 
and obtain a West African Senior School Certificate. After completing a primary and secondary school education, Okoyemi Ayola attended Moshud Abiola Polytechnic in Abeokuta, Ogo State, in the southwestern part of Nigeria, where she earned an honorary national diploma OND in Act Accounting. After obtaining a national diploma in accounting, Okoyemi Ayola proceeded to Lagos State University and graduated with a bachelor's degree in accounting. In 2007, Okoyemi Ayola got married to Babatunde Olaiwola Owolo Moshe and the marriage is currently blessed with two lovely sons. Okoyemi Ayola is currently based in London, United Kingdom with her family. She has a group called Okoyemi Ayola Rehazal Group, which nurtures upcoming talents. Okoyemi Ayola joined the Nigerian movie industry in 1998 and acted in her first Yoruba movie, Asho Iye, a movie that gave her an advantage in Nollywood and attracted out movie producers and directors in Nigeria. She rose to fame after acting in the Yoruba popular movie, Ige Abudi, a movie that brought her to limelight. Also, we have Omoni Oboli. Born 22 April 1978, is a Nigerian actress, script writer, film director, producer, and digital filmmaker. She studied at the New York Film Academy and has written several screenplays, including The Fingering 2009. Anko Baby 2010, Fatal Imagination, Being Mrs. Elliot, The First Lady, and Wives on Strike in 2016. In 2018, she starred and directed the comedy film Moms at War. Omoni Oboli was born in Benin City, Edo State. She is a descendant of Mosogal, a small village in Delta State, Nigeria. Omoni Oboli completed both a primary and secondary school education in Benin City. After completing her secondary school education, Omoni Oboli Proceeded to University of Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria, and graduated with a bachelor's degree in French at the University of Benin and graduated with second class upper division. Following the completion of her first degree, Omoni Oboli went abroad to further studies at the New York Film Academy, where she studied digital editing in a four week workshop. Omoni Oboli began her movie career with her first movie role in Bitter Encounter in 1996, where she played the secretary. And next was Shame. She then went on to play the lead female character in three major movies, Not Mario, Destiny to Die, and Noel Campos Tale. After enjoying a brief career in 1996, Omoni left the movie industry to complete her university education. She married immediately after school and did not return to the industry until a decade later. And half she said almost made her quit movie. She got back to school in 2009 and then she realized industry has no space for anyone. Then she started to start production for her own movies. Omoni Oboli had several screenplays to her credit, including her film Wives on Strike as well as The Rivers a movie she co-produced with her friends and won the prize for Best International Drama at the New York International Independent Film and Video Festival. It was the first Nigerian film to be premiered since the festival inception in 2003. The movie was given a three-star rating out of four by the festival's judges. Omoni Oboli has played lead roles in mainstream films including the Fig Green in 2009, Anchor Baby in 2010, Being Mrs. Elliot and 50 in 2015. She is also the first actress from Nollywood to win Best Actress in two international festivals that are not recognized by Nigerians or Africans. In the same year 2010, she did at the LM International Film Festival and the Los Angeles Movie Awards for her lead role in the movie Anchor Baby. In 2010, she won the award for Best Actress Narrative Features 
at the Los Angeles Movie Awards and the award for Best Actress at the Harlem International Film Festival. Omoni Oboli was nominated for the Best Actress in a Leading Role Award at the 2011 African Movie Academy Awards. In 2014, she won Big Screen Actress of the Year Award at the 2014 Ella Award for a movie being Mrs. Elliot. In 2015, Omoli Oboli was awarded the Sir Nollywood Personality of the Year. She has directed several movies such as being Mrs. Elliot, The First Lady, Wives on Strike, and Oka First Law. On 14th August 2017, Omoni Oboli took to her Instagram page to share a post announcing a new deal as the brand ambassador of Olawale Ayilara's Landway Investment Limited. Omoni Oboli stayed in the movie Oka First Law, which premiered on 24 March 2017. However, the movie could not be screened at the premiere due to an injunction by the courts. Omoni Oboli was accused of copyright infringement by Jude Idada, who claimed to have written part of the script for Okafor's Law. The movie was released on 31 March 2017. Omoni Oboli set up a charity foundation, the Omoni Oboli Foundation, to use her celebrity status to bring relief to the plight of the less privileged women and children of Nigerian society. The foundation has been able to embark on several projects which included the feeding of street children in Lagos. Well guys, that's all about the Nigerian celebrity who shared their throwback photos on social media. Thank you all for listening to that and please don't forget to like, subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you, bye!